we ended up dropping the load of skidded coils and we came and picked up a load of shingles uh one thing i was gonna say some of these shingles i like it when they put i think those pink ones are three three rows on top of each other so when you when they put it on the uh, trailer they put it sideways that way you can put one strap and you're good to go but these white ones they have three this way and one this way so when you put a strap let's say uh, this one right here you put a strap like in the middle the one at the end will not be skewered so you either will pick that up and put it here and skewer it or if you have a edge protector long enough that will cover at least half of the shingle then you can skewer, skewer it that way but I went ahead and put uh, these three foot long edge protector and we are good to go one thing i was gonna say the rates have dropped really low so uh, i called on a load that was one pick two drops 300 miles appointments at all locations and it is going into chicago <laughs> that needs to re that requires an eight foot tarp and it pays 550 dollars <laughs> i held myself not to laugh for a crazy load like that because like how dare you you would pay 550 on such a complicated load so i never understood it but anyways uh, let's secure this load and this load delivers tomorrow so we have plenty of time i waited the entire day just so that i could find a good load and finally at the end of like right now it's 2 30 so at 1 30 i find this load luckily i was only 20 minutes away from it but sometimes i could be waiting all day long and not finding anything and risk it because uh last friday that's what i did i just refused to haul cheaper loads and i ended up sitting friday saturday sunday without a load so, just like they say no risk no reward i guess i stopped putting a winch right here because if i get a blown airbag or something then it will definitely damage my tires and these are expensive like 600 bucks a piece so and instead i'll just put a ratchet and we will uh tie it down that way it should be fine and on the other side i have stake pockets that i could put or yeah pocket winch so i should be okay let me show you these come in handy especially for my situation because if you have followed my channel for any time or for at least two years then you would know that I installed these toolboxes and the welder didn't pay attention to my request and put the toolbox all the way up so now my winches doesn't slide underneath it so I have to put these uh, pocket winches or I can ask another welder to go ahead and cut it and drop the toolbox down so i just don't want to do that because it's time consuming and instead i spent 300 bucks buying these pocket watches i rather have my at least one of my toolbox drop low but if i do that then i'm losing a day of work and i never had time to actually time it when i am in albuquerque so i can do it when i'm home you know Just like that. I'm nose. More. We made it to the receiver. Here is the load. We came here in one piece. I have this one hole in my strap, uh, which is not a big deal, but it's time for this strap to go, I think, soon. It's been like three years. So anyways, I backed into this uh, gate tomorrow morning. When they open the gate up, I can just go ahead and back up. They can offload me and I can shoot out of here. It says no parking. So hopefully <laughs> that is not gonna be a big deal because I know, um, I remember when I used to work at the hotel, the fire department had us to put the uh, red, the, the, the red paint on the certain areas. And if you parked there where it was red, 
you would get a ticket from a fire department, although it was a private property. Few people got a parking violation on a private property because I guess it's a fire concern. But here, I don't think it's an issue of uh, fire department. They just don't want their gates to be blocked. I don't think there is going to be an issue because uh, I will be in my truck the whole time and we should not have a problem because they can just knock on the on the door or on the window or whatever and I will wake up and move out of their way if, if necessary. So the reason I backed in here is because when I looked at the sat Google satellite, I uh, determined that the entrance that they have on that side is where the semi trucks go in and I didn't see anything on on this side so I assumed it was that case so I pulled in I pulled uh, I swung wide I came that way and I noticed that the entrance was super tight and I figured you know what maybe they offload trucks here in the yard and they take it back there or something so I backed in and I parked alongside that curb and then I walked over here and I saw the gate <laughs> and I saw where it says like stop drivers must stop before entering the uh, yard and I figured you know what I can't really turn around here and I don't want to go back on the street and then turn around I will just go ahead and uh, pull forward and set myself up and back up here and hopefully they will not have an issue tomorrow <laughs> so let's go ahead and unstrap and put all these uh, edge protectors away put the straps roll up all my straps and get ready for tomorrow morning because they will open up at 7 I think or they come in at 6 30 or something like that and start working at 7. Nobody's on the other side. Oh, clear, clear, clear. I got four little ones, four of the two footers, and ten of the three footer footers. Let's see. strapped and ready for tomorrow morning you may be asking Yusuf are you in a rush do you have a lot for tomorrow no I don't but I do like to get work done if I can so if I can get something done today I'd like to go go ahead and get it done today and not procrastinate uh, that's how I, I have always been it could get a little stressful because at times you get something done and then you have another thing then you get that done and then you have another thing and before you know it, it it's like midnight and you have not slept but uh i don't do that in trucking but i do it i used to do it when i when i used to work at the hotel i would just work until like midnight and things will still not get done anyways we have our dumbbells out we will do some exercise for the night and then have dinner I guess so let's do the exercise 10 minutes max I guess we will do 10 minutes as always we don't do more well we could do more but 10 minutes is more than enough today we will do arms and shoulders and back Vamanos. It is currently 6.40 and cars are started coming in at like 5.45 because I got up at 5.30, warmed the truck up just in case they have to back up or anything because I don't like to move the truck unless the truck is warm. And I had to move out of their way because uh, they have their trucks inside that are preloaded and those truckers leave around like 6.15 or something to go do, to do their delivery and I was blocking their driveway and the the minute the first guy comes in to uh pull into the yard i seen him so i just pulled this uh, pulled over here and no one has bothered me just yet so i think at seven o'clock that's when 
they're open for business and they're open to offload trucks we are all checked in just gotta back up there are a lot of cars now so i hope my backing process is gonna be easy <laughs> Do it, Yusuf. You can do it. You got this. There's a bunch of cars everywhere. Got this GS sir. We have this. Well, I think I got to practice yesterday, so that wasn't too bad. But yesterday was there was there were no trucks, or cars anywhere, so and it worries me just a little bit because I have everything unstrapped and everything but at the same time these are shingles so they're heavy and they won't fall but if I had a high load then they would definitely fall a few more pallets and we will be out of here apparently they have a an entrance over there and exit over here which I never knew about it on a Google satellite it seems like they have put a lot of materials here so I didn't know that they have a the gate here that you could exit so we will take this exit make a make a right and then make a quick left get on 41 and go to my next pickup location so thank you so much for watching this video I'll see you guys in the next one adios